folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Today I'll do a different video. I haven't done one of these in a while where I just kind of sit and talk. Just talk and maybe not even really grandstand or anything. Just things on my mind. And there's a lot. Um, maybe it's something you want to hear. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's something that some of you need to hear. Uh, and just thought I would share it with you. It, it, there's a lot of stuff going on in the news. I could do a news brief, but I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's the same kind of stuff all the time. It's all kind of coming unraveled. It's like this, you know, spiral as it's picking up speed. And, and we all know that. And had a conversation, actually a couple of conversations yesterday on the phone with some people. And then got a text message today, and it just kind of inspired me to talk about what I is on my heart. And it's been on my heart for a while, and it's and I'm going to warn you, and I'm not apologizing for this, but I'm definitely going to get into the realm of spiritual uh, and my spiritual beliefs. And some people don't like that, and others love it. So, and honestly, for me, it's it doesn't matter whether you like it or not. I've done a good job here lately of upsetting and uh, making people angry and telling me how wrong I am. So I might as well just keep on that, you know, keep going down that same path. The text message I got today, and I know she's going to watch this ch this video. I think she watches probably about every video I make. Uh, and I didn't get any permission, so I'm not going to give any details. But she's a very sweet, dear lady, a uh, friend of mine and my wife that we've met through this channel. And you don't need to know her story, but just before I say anything more, I ask you to remember her in prayer. Um, you can just ask for prayer for Travis's friend. And I think Father will know what you're talking about. Um, but she sent me this text saying that it's always funny how when she watches my channel so many times, um, this topic that I'm speaking of is something that's been on her mind. Maybe she'd been researching it herself. Uh, yesterday, I talked to someone that actually said pretty much the same thing. Now, I'm not telling you this to try to uh, make you think that there's something special about me. Because there certainly isn't. Um, I, I, there, there, I don't have any, you know, telepathic abilities. <laughs> I don't have any kind of special uh ability to to just know what's what's the pulse is of of the people i just i just talk you know i just talk and i don't know why um some hillbilly like myself has ended up with a pretty sizable youtube channel i i ask myself and other people that all the time uh but it's here and while in some ways it's a business i mean there's certainly some revenue that comes in from it. In a lot of ways, it's I look at it kind of more like a, a ministry, so to speak. At least in the sense of, to me, it's way more important to to do good and to wake people up and to, you know, try to help people get ready for things than it is to make money. Because I assure you, <laughs> I was making these videos long before I was making money. Uh, and it took a long time before any kind of revenue started coming in. And if the money was cut off tomorrow, I'd still keep making them. There's a lot of things happening in the world. And I think uh, when, I, when I just referenced how when I talk about something many times, and this isn't the first time, I, I hear it all the time. I get emails often. From people saying, wow, it's crazy that you're talking about that today because that's exactly what was on my mind. And I know many of you that aren't spiritual uh, might think that, well, you know, with the billions of people on the planet, there's bound to be, you know, the same kind of thoughts going on in people's mind, especially when you have similar likes and, you know, kind of uh, like minded. And yes, I'm sure you could make a very good argument to that. But I think that there's a little bit more to that. Um, because sometimes it's because of the spiritual content that people seem to find that connection. 
And I think the reason for that being is, this is just my opinion, so you can certainly tell me I'm wrong, is I believe that we're entering a time period. It's referenced in the, in the Bible as the, the, like the days of Noah, the time period of birthing pangs. Uh, I believe that the Father, Father God, is, is waking his people up, the remnant. I talked about the remnant the other day, but I didn't talk about it in a spiritual sense. I was using that word, but I was referencing it to those of us in the physical world that are prepared and those few of us that are really ready for what's coming. But there's also the spiritual, and I mention that and talk about it often. That, you know, We are most definitely involved in spiritual warfare. It's happening all around us. I mean... If any of you watched that video that I did over on Rumble the other day of the, the TV show, cartoon, I don't know how anyone can see that and not see spiritual warfare happening right before our eyes. And I firmly believe that those of us that have an ear to hear are being called and awakened. Uh, awakening the lion is really kind of how I refer to it. Not so much trying to go out there and, you know, shake the sleep from their, the sheep from their slumber and try to educate them and tell them what's going on and, and get them to wake up to, to, the, to the world around us and how uh, it's all going to hell in a handbasket. Uh, but to waking up the lions. Because we're getting to that point that's talked about in the Bible where there's going to be a lot of people that have completely turned cold, absolutely cold. And there's not really a whole lot of things that you can do to, to kind of bring them around and warm them up. It's not about judging anyone. It's just about recognizing that that's the world that we live in. And I think about this stuff all the time while I'm thinking about, you know, my, our, our own family's preparedness all the multiple projects that I still have to do around here that's not done, you know, what videos to make, phone calls to make, responding to emails and text messages, and planning events and meetings and going to people's houses and, you know, doing all the things that we do around here. In the back of my mind, it's always the realization that we're entering a kind of a different time period than at least this is my belief, a different time period than, well, humanity's ever experienced. And the things that are prophesied and talked about are horrific. And, and all the stuff that's happened in the world uh, from the beginning up until now are really nothing compared to the things that's talked about. And even if a, a portion of that happens, it's going to be horrific. And I believe that those of us that are awake, not just in the physical, psychological awake, you know, but the spiritual, uh, I, I believe that there's, there's a calling. There's a, there's a calling to, to get yourselves ready, get your houses in order. That's why I say it every day. Um, I can't tell you how many, and when I say it's in the hundreds, I, I promise you, I am not exaggerating at all. You can talk to my wife uh, if you come to one of our meetings or something because she'll tell you the same stories because she's heard them that's talked to me and she's had people talk to herself, you know, to her privately. Of how many people have very, very similar stories that they walked away from jobs, sold beautiful homes, um, packed up and moved, uh, went, you know, moved from a place they'd always known where their family's at, where they felt comfortable in the city or wherever it was. And they moved somewhere else. A lot of these are, they're moving here in the Ozarks, but they're, they're moving elsewhere too. Because they felt the father just compelling them, that laying it on their heart that they needed to get to a safer place that they needed to get out of the place that they were at because it wasn't safe. And I had so many people, maybe not all of them, but I've had so many people in the last two years tell me this, that this happened to them. And then shortly thereafter, the whole pandemic started. 
And once they, you know, they'd gotten out ahead of time and they, you know, realized looking back that if they had stayed, they would have had to deal with a whole lot worse conditions uh, than where they moved to. I think that what's happening here is, is just, it's, it's what it seems. That we, those of us that are, that are called, those of us, like I said, that have the ear to hear, it's not necessarily everyone, I don't believe. The Bible's clear on that those that make it to the end are it's not going to be as many as you think. That we're being called, we're being awakened, we're being, you know, told that we need to get ready for all this. For the physical, the mental, the spiritual, everything. Because it's going to start getting bad. It already has been. In a lot of places in the in the world, America, because of our size and our wealth, uh, we're a little bit more insulated than the rest of the world. It's going to take it a little bit longer to get really bad here, but it certainly can get really bad here, just like it has in many other places just in the last two or three years. Whatever you're doing because you feel compelled to, because you feel that, you know, Father in Heaven is, is telling you to do this. Um, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't ignore that. And I know there's going to be some of you. Hey, little bee. <laughs> there's a bee flying around the camera. Um, I know that there's going to be some of you that's going to laugh and scoff at this, and that's fine. It's a free world. You can do that if you want. Um, but when you start to hear the same kind of stories over and over and over and over and over again. And I can promise you it's well into well over a hundred that I've had personally, like personally to my face. And it's not just people that follow this channel. My wife and I have run into people when we're out shopping and we just start a conversation. We're both kind of like that. And whew, that bee is really liking me. Um, and they, they don't even know who I am. They don't know that I have a YouTube channel. So it's not because of the YouTube channel. They just random people and we got to talking and they end up telling us, yeah, you know, we moved here, you know, a year ago because we just, God was telling us we needed to get out of where we were, get here. That's happened a lot. And I don't think that this is all just a coincidence. Uh, I, I'm not a big believer in coincidences. I think that most things all have a purpose and, and, and that uh, uh, many, many things in our lives are directed by the hand of the Father. The world is seeming to kind of come unraveled. And I know a lot of you, uh, as, as much as you're prepared physically, as much as you feel as you're, you're a very strong believer, you're starting to get a little worried, a little concerned. And it may not be for yourself. It may be because you have family members that, that refuse to open their eyes. And I don't have the best of news for you in that sense other you know because it's it's very possible that they never will i mean maybe they will you can always still pray for them and keep trying but it's possible they won't and that's been told to us before in the bible too everything that's happening we've already known it's going to happen so we have to push the fear aside because that does nothing for us fear is is not a productive Emotion for us, not in this, these times. We need to be serious about our, our personal preps. I, I know I get some of you, you're probably going to jump in here and say, how can you be so spiritual and be, try to be so godly and you know, be a Christian and all this kind of stuff if you know, you're a prepper? I'm not going to go into it, but I'm telling you there's more stories than, than you can imagine if you've you know, never read your Bible of people that were preppers. In fact, in the talks about how we have to endure till he comes. That's the ones that are saved, the ones that endure. Well, endurance is, is done through preparations and through, you know, pushing through. It's not just sitting there saying, well, I'm just going to trust that everything's provided for me. But anyways, I digress. We have to be serious about this because as bad as things are, have been right now, it's just going to get worse, folks. The trials and tribulations that we will face because of our faith in Him. 
Jesus, Yeshua told us that. that you will be persecuted because of him. And we're starting to see little bits of that creep up. So it's probably just going to get a lot worse. I know that a lot of you are very strong, consider yourselves very strong, and that you, 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 you just do your very, very best to strengthen yourselves daily in all ways when it comes to preparations. Some of you feel that you're just not doing enough, that you're so weak, that you just aren't going to make it. You, you don't have the skills, you don't have the land, you don't have the money. You know, you're the single mom, or you're elderly, you know, you're, you're, you're a widowed, you know, you're all, all these things that you have going against you. I can't promise you that you're going to make it. I can't promise you that, you know, a tornado doesn't come and take out your home with you in it tomorrow. I can't promise you that, you know, everything's going to be fine. But what I can tell you is that just because you have those disadvantages, it doesn't mean that you can't make it. It doesn't mean that you can't find the strength in you, that mental fortitude, that spiritual warrior within you to, to, to stick with this and to stay in the fight and to finish this. Because it doesn't matter how strong or how weak you are. It doesn't. What matters is, is that through him, through Christ Jesus, through Yeshua, you know, you have all the strength in the world to take on anything and everything. And so, when you're doing your physical preps, when you're in your knees in prayer, when you're reading your Bible, when you're watching the videos, when you're developing your skills, when you're sitting there sewing, I've had people just today say that, I've been sitting here sewing while I'm watching your channel. Whatever you're doing, just keep doing it pushing forward, have faith and believe that you are called to be those last few, those few that endure to the end, those ones that are called into the wilderness to, to, to be safe from the, the serpents, uh, the, the, the dragon. I mean, this is, this is getting serious, folks, and I, I don't want to over-dramatize it and to hype things up. Um, you know, I can't promise you that the world's coming to an end tomorrow, but I can promise you that the world is becoming a much more wicked place. Uh, that is all around us in our schools and TV and government, the things that are being done and promoted and, and told that it's okay would make our, our fathers and our grandfathers roll over in their graves. So don't give up. Keep pressing forward. Keep strengthening yourself every day. I mean, if even if you're, you can be a, a paraplegic or quadriplegic in a wheelchair and say, how am I supposed to strengthen myself? I can't even walk. Well, okay, strengthen your mind. Strengthen your soul. Strengthen that. Because what we are headed into, the world that we're headed into, uh, weakness is not going to be a good thing. It's not going to bring you success. Be strong, be of good courage. Uh, and sometimes finding that strength is getting on your knees and getting down and, and praying and, 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 and seeking his face. Do that along with all the other prep stuff, the physical stuff, the mental stuff, the conditioning stuff that I talked to you about. And we might just come up with some pretty doggone good warriors. Because that's what we need to endure to the end. Folks, get your houses in order. Prepare mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.